guys, I'm getting so close to getting this done. Uh, today, I'm installing this. This is the rest of the autopilot system. And let me, let me explain what this is. So uh, yeah, this is a trim tab. And the autopilot system of this works a lot differently than a normal autopilot system. It's just a little tiny trim tab that goes up and down to be able to manipulate the controls for you. Let me show you the whole kit so this makes sense because you're gonna be surprised what actually makes this move. This is the entire kit that comes with the iLevel Autopilot, and these portions of it actually come from Aircraft Automation, which is the same people that little tiny EFIS called the Super Eco came from as well. But uh, here goes the kit. First off, the trim tabs that we already talked about. We have the elevator and the, uh, what's this one, aileron uh, ones right there. They also have a three access, which is kind of cool. More on that one later. But uh, it is completely controlled by these little guys right here. And yes, you're seeing that right. These are little RC servos. Believe it or not, the system doesn't require much to be able to manipulate the airplane. So it's really cool that they figured this out. So we're gonna be mounting these and this today. And to do that, you can do it one of two ways. You can use this 3M adhesive right here to be able to connect it to your elevator or aileron or you can utilize these little hinges right here. They just have little cotter pins right here. You pull those out, pull the hinge out, and then you can mount it using one of these. So uh, we're gonna actually do both of those today. We're gonna use the adhesives on the elevator and these guys on the aileron. We'll get more into that in a little bit. The kit also comes with these, well, what was in here, which is the wires. Those are already in the airplane. Decided that was pretty boring to show you guys because every airplane's different on how you're going to run it. So I'll just show you the aftermath of what that is. Last, we have these extension push rods. Yes, they come with little push rods on them already if you were to mount it to here. But in our elevator situation, we have to mount it a little bit further forward of the trim tab itself. So these are extensions for it, but in my case, this wasn't quite long enough. And so I went to the hobby store because they are RC servos and bought this long boy right here. And this is gonna be perfect because we're gonna be able to cut it to size and make it work exactly how we want. Now, let me show you what's going on in the airplane. So again, everything is controlled by this guy. So I've got wires going to it, which you know are actually right here and they run around and they go different places. So the first one comes up down here through the wing and pops out right back here. And uh, I used one of the little drain holes right here, created another one, used grommets on both sides. And this is where the servo is gonna be mounted in my situation. You can see I kinda got things a little marked out and then the cable is ready to be plugged in. And uh, one thing that you want to do when you're doing this, you wanna make sure you have nice clean air. And so when the trim tab is back there, and uh, back there, there's nice clean air and nothing in the way so it can control it properly. Now, let's come back down over here and I have my trim tab wire coming out right there and I have it running into another little drain hole coming across, coming out of there and into a little hole and I'll put a patch around that so it doesn't expand and that runs all the way back to there so that we have the other wire just hanging down and ready for the servo. So it's a pretty straightforward installation and I'm gonna start with the aileron behind me. So to do that, we've gotta drill a bunch of holes. Give you guys an idea of how this is gonna work even though my airplane is ridiculously dirty. <laughs> this hinge is gonna mount like that. And I forgot to mention this before, that there's a flat version and then there's a curved version. And I am using the focus curved version of it so that it can adhere to the curve that's right there. And I've already made a mistake. I, I said I wanted to mount this like this, right? But uh, in reality, once I removed that hinge, I realized it's, it's gotta be mounted like that. No big deal, just gonna be drilling from the top here. There we have it. 
it is installed, it flaps around just like it's supposed to. So the next step is getting the servo installed down under here. The plan is to install the servo over the top of that hole so all the wiring and everything can go just shoved up in there. And the reason I have it all the way back here is because I've actually got metal for the leading edge of my aileron. And back here, it's just fabric. So I wanted to have a structural point to be able to put it just be because I can. Now, there's two ways I could do this. I could use the 3M adhesive that came with the kit and just stick it on there. But uh, I've decided that I'm gonna go ahead and put some rib nuts inside of here, drill the four corners of these guys out, and actually use some screws. Crap, my rib nut gun broke. So I'm gonna mount it with three for right now so we can get this job done. And I'll come back and I'll put that last one in a little bit later. There, that guy is installed. Now, our last thing that we need to do here is extend this guy so it reaches out and touches right here. So, I have that extension guy right over here. Don't, don't mind my mess, this happens every time I work. Uh, but we just need to get this guy all measured up, cut, and we just have to bend the corner of it so that it uh, goes through that hole right there. There we have it. That is working perfectly. And uh, there's threads on this end of it so we can fine tune this in case I you know, didn't get it just right. But uh, that is working perfectly. The counterbalance is swinging. And my goodness, that is just cool. All right. So uh, this one was a little more technical. Let's move on to the other method for app installing it, and that's gonna be using sticky stuff for, for the entire thing over there. And you can kind of see right down there, whoop, there's the wire. I cleaned up a little bit, but before I go down over under the elevator, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy out, get all of this adhesive put on there so that uh, I can just line it up and push it onto the wing or the, the elevator. Now, what I do need to do all the way over there is clean the bottom of it first. To do that, I'll just be using some rubbing alcohol and just make it clean. Just like that, this guy is on there too. And uh, you'll notice it's not perfectly aligned with this, and that's just because this is curved, which is also why we decided to go with the sticky mount. And this thing is not coming off, and it's uh, able to deflect the air just perfectly. Super happy with this portion of the install. Oh, geez, that was so easy. And now it's just a time to test it. This switch right here is my autopilot uh, servo disconnect switch. So this turns it on and off, and I'm just gonna flip this up, and if I do it right, or did it right, the servo should move. <laughs> and that is another item checked off of my list before we can get these things flying. And I'm very excited for the electric trim that this has. It's gonna make flying the airplane so much easier, especially with that grip. So again, I wanna give a huge thank you to Aircraft Automation for helping me out with this part of the build, and that, came with the iLevel Autopilot. So again, a huge thank you to iLevel or Level Aviation for providing that for us. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Guys, we're getting really close. Uh, first flight is probably gonna be coming in the next month, month and a half. I'm behind, it already happened. Because I need to fly off some hours of this airplane before we can take it to Osh. That already happened too. Stay tuned for that. Like, subscribe, and as always, share aviation wherever you can, and we'll see you in the next one.